Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to run a bash script in VS Code. So let's get started. The first step is to download the VS Code on your computer. To download, go to Chrome and search the Visual Studio Code. Click on the first link to open the VS Studio website. Here you will see a button to download the software. It's free and works across platforms. Click on this button to start downloading. Once you have VS Code installed, open it. Your screen might have some welcome text, but essentially it should look something like this. The next step is to install Git. Go to the Chrome again and search for Git. Once you open the website, you will see that it's available for both 32-bit and 64-bit systems, so just download the appropriate version for your setup. Once the download is complete, go ahead and install it. The installation process might take a while. After the installation is completed, go back to open the Visual Studio Code. In VS Code, open the command palette by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus P or simply go to the View tab and select Command Palette. Then in the Command Palette, search for Terminal Select Default Profile. The first time you search for it, it might not show up immediately, so just type it out and select it when it appears. Now, you'll see a list of installed shells on your system. In my case, I have PowerShell, Java and Bash. I'm going to select Bash. Once you've done that, go to the Terminal section on the top and open a new terminal. Now you should have Bash as your default shell. That's pretty much it. Now that Bash is enabled, you can start using it in your VS Code terminal. Let's test it out with some basic commands. Like I will write echo hello world and it will run like this. Or you can also write the grep command. If you ever want to switch back to PowerShell or any other shell, just follow the same steps and select the shell you want instead of Bash. That's it for today's video. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free, so click the link in the description to sign up.